Hey guys and girls, I'm James and welcome to the channel. Today we are taking a look at the Mavic Air. Cut? Why? It's Mavic Air. Oh, Ma <laughs> Mavic Air? Mavic Air? It's not the Mavic Air? Oh, okay. Alright guys, I guess I'm just joking. We're looking at the Mavic Air, guys. Uh, I saw this online, they didn't send it to me. When I, but when I saw that there's a Mavic Air and it looked this cool, I had to buy it and check it out. Yeah. Especially when it's this price point on Amazon right now. And it comes with extra battery chargers uh, comes in this really cool carrying case for a budget drone at that price point you typically you don't get a carrying case that nice um, the gimbal goes up and down camera's okay you, you know without a three axis gimbal you're not going to get very good footage flies really good really does one thing that i really like about this drone and i'll show you when i'm going over it is the uh, is the way that these props lock into place that's kind of cool so if they hit something they kind of break away. It's got really nice lights on the back and it does fold up kind of like the Parrot Anopi or the Bugs 19 that I reviewed. <laughs> it does have an optical flow sensor on the bottom so when you're landing it's going to come down real nice. Um, and the, I like the way the battery is almost half the drone when you pull it away. So it's got really good flight time for a drone this size. So let's go put her up in the air then I'll come back and go over the app with you to show you how to get the camera to work and get the gyro set. And then, I'll come, and then I'll come back for my final review. So if you want, so after the flight, if you just want to skip the instructions, it'll be stamped underneath and you can just go to the end and see what I think about this drone. Unusual looking, isn't it? Sure is cool. So let's go put the Maverick Air up in the air. Cut. Oh, did I say Mavic? I didn't say Mavic. Okay, well, let's go put the Mavic Air up in the air. There we go. Very stable. I almost wonder if that's really speed. Ooh, I like the way it spins. It spins really nice. As always, the first time you put a drone up in the air, try to fly it around really slow and low. Uh, see how it yaws and spins. Each drone is going to perform just a little bit differently. So you kind of want to get used to it before you try to send it off. I'm using the app to try to go to a higher speed. Uh, honestly, you shouldn't even use the app in the beginning. You should only use the controller. There's a little flip. I'm trying to get used to what the drone does. Uh, but I'm trying to put it in a higher speed because it's a little bit windy and I keep pushing on the app button and it's beeping but it's not going into the higher speed. Uh, so I say don't use the app in the beginning. Learn all the controls on the controller first because you know those are going to work. These budget drones, sometimes the app buttons don't work. But I got to give it to it. Speed 1's really nice. Sometimes speed 1's too fast. Uh, this speed 1 turns really good and yaws really good but the forward speed is really slow which is kind of really good for a beginner uh, which means you could probably fly it indoors okay because sometimes these budget drones speed one and speed three there's not much difference where actually this one the speed one is a uh, it's a really good pace. so here's some pictures i took uh, they're really dark maybe the camera's overheating because it was really hot outside because here's one i took at a different day and the color is much better. And here's what the video looks like from the app. It actually looks better than the photos that it took. You can see the time recorder. It's uh, marking the time when I started it. And if you look at the top and middle, it's just 30%. And I keep pushing that button and make it go to 60, there to 100. And it doesn't change the speed. So be sure you do the speed changes with the remote. Of course, without a three axis gimbal, you're not gonna get stabilized footage. There you can take a picture while you're recording. That's pretty cool. Uh, it is not a GPS drone, so the satellites are not gonna hold it into position. It's up to you uh, to fly it around, which is kind of fun. If there's a little bit of wind, it'll really help your skill set. But if you're a beginner, keep it low and slow. Uh, you can see some jello in the camera. This is actually from the app <laughs> being recorded. Um, there it is. I slowed it down a little bit, but you can see it's not gonna get really good footage, but it's fun to play with and it's gonna teach you the functions of a drone and how to get it in the air and you'd much rather crash a $70 drone than one that's 10 times that. So these aren't intelligent batteries on this drone so if you're going to store it for a long time be sure that they're not fully charged or fully uncharged. You want to leave them close to 50%. Also don't charge them if they are hot. <laughs> you want to let it cool off a little bit before you recharge them. I was getting about 16-17 minutes of flight time. I didn't do a complete flight test because it's just too hot so I'm not going to get a really good reading. 
Range on this drone is probably about 300 meters. Uh, that's about as far as you can see it with your eyes. I wouldn't push it past it. The drone could probably do it, but I'd be afraid the app would lose control and then the drone would just be a flyaway. And I read about so many of these flyaways with these budget drones, but people are trying to push them beyond visual line of sight and try to bring them back by looking at the camera on the app, but then they lose the reception of the camera and then the drone's gone. And I've done it several times myself. It's easy to do. So these are brushless motors. So if these motors ever get in a bind, it'll strip those gears. But I'll show you when we sit down and go over this drone. These uh, blades break away. It's kind of cool. I've never seen that before in a drone before. I wish they would all have that, even the expensive ones. So we do give all these drones away and I'll put in the description how to enter the giveaways. But if anybody ever contacts you and says you want a drone, and that just pay for the shipping, that's not me. We pay all shipping. I get scammers on my channel in the comments every day. And I would also never notify you in a comment that you've won a drone. We'll only announce those on the giveaways and that'll be a separate video. So all of this has been done in speed one. I didn't even know I was in speed one the whole time until I sit down and figure out uh, that I need to change it on the remote. And so here I am launching it back up once I went back inside and figure out how to put the thing in speed three. All right, let's try this again. Now I think I'm, I don't see, sometimes the apps don't work on these drones. Um, I really think it was stuck in speed one the whole time. Oh yeah, there we go. So the app doesn't work. Wow, now it's really good. So you can't use the speed control on the app. Man, that's fantastic speed. Wow, holy moly. Oh man, speed one was really good to learn on. And this is speed three. I mean, that's all you need. That's all the speed you'd ever want in a drone like this. Any faster, it's just gonna get you in trouble. I mean, so now you have a little bit more confidence just to kind of send it out. <laughs> There's golfers over there. So I finally got the speed worked out on this drone and in speed three, it does fantastic. It's got a lot of power, does even really good against the wind. Also, I'm flying it low here. Uh, with that optical flow sensor, it keeps its position from the ground really well, especially when you're landing it. Sometimes the cheaper drones, when you go to land them, they just smash into the ground. But if you uh, hit land on this drone, it lands itself very nicely. So let's go inside and go over the app and the functions of the drone. And if you want to skip all that, you can. It's time stamped underneath. If you want to go back to the final review. All right. So let's let's head in. All right. Let's see what he weighs in at. He weighs in at 198 grams. You know, compared to like the compared to like the HS260 I just reviewed, that comes in at 154. You know, compared to like the Mini 3 from DJI is at 250, a little bit more with a few accessories. So how much is 198 grams? Well, 198 grams is about the weight of a medium-sized banana. So even though this is a budget drone, it came with this really nice pack. It's got a handle, a strap to carry it, a nice zipper. It all fits in there really nicely. So on this cool looking drone, <laughs> it comes with extra props, two batteries, a charger, handy dandy screwdriver, the remote, instruction booklet. Uh, the remote's not laid out very well, so you gotta familiarize yourself with all these buttons before you take out. Um, these antennas are not real. Your phone fits in here. I would suggest not even putting it in there unless you really wanna fight it. So on the drone, what's cool about these props, I've never seen these before, these lock into position. So when you wanna put it up, they are foldable, but they, they have to snap into place. So you gotta make sure they're both snapped into the right place before you take off. You'll kind of play with it, you'll get the hang of it. So they are brushed motors, so you gotta be careful when, if these do get stuck in a bind, it'll strip the gears out that are in here and it'll pretty much be worthless. Camera has a gimbal, goes up and down with the remote, has an optical flow sensor on the bottom. It's got lights in the front and in the back. And to take the battery off, you push this little button and it pops off. It is a 1700 milliwatt amp battery. Uh, it takes about an hour to charge and I was getting, I think 12, 13 minutes of flight time. P pretty good, pretty large battery. This thing was so stable in the air. I, I mean, I kind of want to put a little face in the front of it. <laughs> it looks like it shouldn't have a face on it. So the, the Mavic Air, 
It's an unusually shaped drone, but I really, really like it. Flew fantastic. I mean, especially as a beginner, it was just rock solid. You know, I really like the HS260, but this is a sport flyer. Man, without having GPS, this thing is extremely fast. So on the remote, this moves the gimbal up and down. Uh, this takes a picture, takes a photo, your on off button. These two buttons are real important. Um, this is to unlock the motors. This is their takeoff button. So when you turn the drone on and you turn your remote on, you can try to calibrate it and take off and do all you want to, but this controller is not bound to this drone. See that light blinking? You gotta go up and down on the left stick. You gotta go up, down. It'll quit blinking. Now it's bound. Now you calibrate the compass. Hold down and they'll calibrate. Then you unlock your motors. And then you can either do it one of two ways. You can push the takeoff button. <laughs> or you, get, you can push the takeoff button and they'll start. Then you can push up. And of course, if it doesn't take, you can push this uh, takeoff button. They'll start, un that'll unlock the motors and then you can push up. So the speed button on this thing is very confusing and it did not work on the app. The speed button is right here. Uh, if you just touch it, you'll hear two beeps, then you'll hear three beeps. Then a long continuous press on this puts it into headless mode. Don't ever do that. That just takes away the orientation of the drone. The whole reason you're trying to use a beginner drone is to learn how to fly a drone. And if you learn how to fly in headless mode, it's almost impossible to learn back and do it correctly. So I'm gonna fly it with my phone, but I'm gonna use my iPad to show you how to use the app to get the camera to work. So I have a bunch of these instruction booklets when they come from China. A lot, of it, a lot of it's hard to understand on here. It even talks about this being a GPS drone. <laughs> this is not a GPS drone. Guys, uh, this does not hook up to the satellites. Yeah, it says right here, uh, whether, whether it completes a, a search of GPS positioning, there's no, G, there's no GPS on this drone. So they need to be careful when they write these. So, but I'm gonna set you straight on it, okay? But the rest of it's pretty good. But it doesn't have the app on here. It does come with this confusing piece of paper that makes you think this is the app. It just takes you to some Chinese uh, shopping center, I think. Uh, it's this, it's the KY FPV, which I've used on a lot of drones before. It's really a good app and it does have the hand motion. So what you gotta do, don't lose this or just remember it's a KY FPV. Go to your camera. It'll take you to the app store. You download this KY FPV. You can open the app, but it's not gonna work. Uh, even if the drone's turned on because it's a Wi-Fi drone. So it's probably a good idea to make a pre-start checklist. Bind the controller to the drone, reset your gyros, and then this is a Wi-Fi drone. So you have to go back to your settings on, on the device that you're using. And it's using the Wi-Fi from your device, not from your home. Go to your Wi-Fi, turn the drone on. It's this Wi-Fi 946, I don't know why. <laughs> Lots of times it'll say drone or something. And when it's checked, you go back to the app. And now your camera's working. Pretty good camera. So on the app, again, this speed it shows does not change it on here. You have to use the remote by pushing on this button right here. Um, you can use it to take pictures or to start a video. It'll be have a little red dot and change colors and it's taking a video. You can go to settings and it has all these other things, your hand gestures and everything, reverse the camera. I wouldn't use any of these guys. Um, just use the app to look at the picture and just use the remote for all the controls. You can go into here and you do look at your, right here, it'll show the picture we just took. the video we just took will be on the gallery. I mean, you're not gonna get great video without a three axis gimbal, but I mean, the pictures were pretty decent. I mean, for a, a budget beginner drone. All right, and I do like the app. It does work very well. It, all right, guys, so let's go back for our final review on this cool little drone. All right, guys, so what do I think about this drone? I think it's a cool little drone, the Mavic Air. <laughs> I like the way it folds up, it's got nice flight time. Flies really good. There's no latency in the controls. Nice remote, nice app, works really good. I really like the lights on the bottom. I should have showed you how I flew it at night. You can really see it at night. The camera leaves a lot to be desired. Even the pictures weren't that good and the video was almost worthless. 
but for a fun flyer to learn how to fly a drone, this can be a really good one. I mean, there isn't any prop guards. Um, so the, I think your first drone really, as always, should be one of these little micro mini drones because if you're flying this outside for your first time and there's even a little bit of wind, you're going to have some trouble. So if you, once you get your skill set down, it's a lot of fun flying with a little bit of wind because it gives you an extra challenge. And there's just not a lot of drones out there with multiple batteries, optical flow sensor on the bottom that comes in a really nice carrying case at $69. And this will teach you how to get everything set up in the app and get the drone up in the air. Hey guys, like always, if you got something out of this, please like and subscribe. Subscribers mean everything to me in this channel. And if you do get the Mavic Air, let me... Oh, did I say Mavic again? <laughs> if you do get the Mavic Air, be sure and let me know what you think about it. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh yeah, there we go. Wow, now it's really good. Oh man, Speed 1 was really good to learn on. And this is Speed 3. I mean, that's all you need. That's all the speed you'd ever want in a drone like this. Any faster, it's just going to get you in trouble.